Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show Action Edition, where we feature feedback from you, our listeners. I'm here with my old buddy, Larry. Larry, what's been going on? Well, John, you know, I was out doing a... uh a job the other day. I was doing a wood rot job. Big surprise here in Atlanta, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Yep, back to doing wood job. So anyway, I, I was uh, mixing up the Bondo, you know, and I was using my putty knife and um, I was I was wrapping my putty knife with blue tape, you know, blue painter's tape, right? Yep. And you and I have had this discussion on a couple of occasions. I sat there and said to myself, self, uh, you, you know, it seems like you use blue painter's tape for everything but painting. But painting, yep, but painting. <laughs> unless you're unless you're doing some spraying, just, just get good. Just get good at cutting in and uh, save your time, and just cut in and not uh, yeah. not use the tape. But the tape is that tape is fantastic. That it's uh, you know three M yeah. blue painter's tape. And, and it sits in my tool belt because it seems that I use it for everything but painting. So we decided we'd do a short action tip on what are some of the things that we can use blue tape for that are not related to, or, well, that are not for cutting in an edge on painting. So, John, go ahead. And, and so my first one is keeping my putty knife clean when I'm mixing up either, you know, any anything that's, that's basically I can keep the tip of my putty knife clean. Even using drywall, it makes it easier, right? So right. that's the right. first one. Right, because you know when you when you, when you think about it, at the, at, when you're done, it's really easy to take off, and you just toss it away. I I do it. I use it to cover to cover a, a screwdriver when I'm I, you know when I'm mixing stuff. When I need something real stiff like a screwdriver to mix something that's that's real gooey like a like bondo, you know, or something like that. And um, I've got a big screwdriver. I'll wrap that thing, you know, fold fold the piece over, and and you're done. Throw it out. So it's kind of like a lightning round here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I use it for labeling all the time. And and just, you know, you want to put a label on a wire, you want to put a label on a, a, a tool, a, a paint. Um, I, I mark stuff where I'll put dates on it, you know, and it's it's going to be removable. So like filters and stuff, I'll write the dates on it, whatever. But labeling, it's great because you can take it off. What else? John, give me another one. Yep, yep. And, 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 I, also, and I also use it for, for labeling as well, putting uh, actually measurements. I'll be taking measurements and I'll just put – put tape all over my, you know, all over the front of me, you know, and I'll go out to the saw and I've got all my measurements when I don't have a piece of paper on. <laughs> I'll put it on switches on little, on little electrical devices too. So they don't accidentally get turned on. Cause you know, we, we travel around a lot, right? So a lot of, we have a lot of little electrical devices and things that, you know, to save the batteries, you know, so, so it doesn't accidentally switch on. Yeah. You actually put it on the switch. I, I know speaking of switches, like if I'm working on something that, that is, that's a, a hot, like say a, a switch for a light or something to make sure it doesn't get down. I turn off the electrical breaker, but you know how it is on a job site, right? So I'll actually <laughs> take tape and put it over the switch to keep the switch yep. down so so that it doesn't in, ex, in, accidentally get turned on and I get juiced, right? Right. So that's that's another thing. What else? Yep. Yep. I, you know, I've seen. Uh, I, I used it for marking stuff on on uh, on carpeting and floors. So if I have to take measurements or things like that, I can. I just uh, you know put it on on carpet and put the measurements there. Um, yeah, and know, that way you don't make a mistake of which, you know, writing it down on a piece of paper or something, you don't make a mistake as to right. exactly where it is, right? Yeah, so all you folks out there, you know, you want to put a tow line on your carpet for uh, for a dartboard, <laughs> you know, so, uh, you know, do do that kind of thing. Yep, and and one other thing, I mean, I know we've used this a lot when we, when we go to hang pictures, right? So you're trying to find a center line on a picture or something, you put a piece of tape up and that sort of, it gives you a place that you can actually draw on it, right? You can draw on it, it and exactly. you don't have to worry about changing the paint right so hanging pictures yeah right gonna... right right you're not marking up the walls and yep. things like that um you know i've used it i've used it where i've actually used um a, some hot glue in between two pieces of tape uh, i was taught i was mentioning that i was putting up some little some little uh, lights underneath the cabinet and you know some of that tape that comes with that i mean you make a mistake with that tape and you'll never get it off it's that real foamy right. stuff right and uh, so i said but you know myself well self maybe i put a <laughs> Maybe I put a piece of a uh, little piece of painter's tape, you know, face up, you know, regular, you know, just put a piece on the on the cabinet and then one on the light. And I just put a little piece of, you know, a little bit of uh, hot glue between the two because you can't pull that tape off if you grab it from the center. And it works like a it works like a charm. So if I had to move it, you know, the whole thing just comes off, 
and it doesn't leave a mark. It comes off comes off clean. Yeah. So uh, this is one we'd mentioned on a previous show, but if you're drilling in tile or masonry or anything where the drill bit will walk or chip, you know, you put you put a piece of blue painter's tape on it and you drill through it, right? Because it actually helps in starting the drill, and then it also doesn't it also doesn't uh, allow chips to come off. So, like tile is really bad to chip, right? It'll, it'll chip and give you not a clean hole. So you use uh, painter's tape to keep that from from happening. And then I've used it for drilling metal too, John, where you put it on yep. and, it, and it doesn't the, the drill bit doesn't walk. You know, if you're Absolutely. using a hand drill kind of yeah. thing. No, um, it, absolutely. I use it. I use it all the time to uh, to hang to hang plastic, um, you know, like painters plastic. Yes. Um, you know the big the big sheets of plastic and stuff like that. I use the real lightweight stuff. But you know, if you're doing the job and you want to hang, you know, you want to you you don't want to make a mess in in, in somebody's house, right? But yep. You're, you're going to work in a little s- uh, sector of the house, and you just want to cordon it off with the plastic. Man, you just can tape. You can tape that plastic up onto the walls and and the, and the molding and stuff like that, and create a nice little curtain for yourself. And then it just comes right down, fold it all up, toss it. Yeah. So I so in that same vein, I've got a I've got a tip. I don't know if you've ever tried this one, but if you're actually cutting small holes in drywall, you take like an old uh, like a grocery store bag. You know, a t- they call them t-shirt bags, but you take that old and you actually take the blue tape and you take it on one edge and you tape that edge in and you and you tape the the one edge of that bag out and you can open the bag up right and as you cut the drywall above it right hang it below it yeah. as you cut the drywall above it where's all the dust and junk yeah, go yeah, into right. the bag what yeah, a make great yourself tip a little garbage bag oh right? oh yeah, no vacuuming no anything it works great yeah perfect you know we kind of mentioned this earlier as i use this stuff all the time for sticky notes whether it's those measurements whether it's I, I actually t- it's I actually take the I mean because I always have it with me I never I never carry a pad of uh, you know like um, stick 'em notes or post-it notes or anything like that um, I always have the tape with me though see and and I write on that stuff and I know that if I put it on anything I can take it off and it just you know comes off clean and everything but it's it's always there for you know for me to write on. I'm going to post that picture of you that you're all covered in blue tape for all your notes. No, I'm just kidding. It was yeah, it was, that was incredible. Everybody's, everybody's looking at me like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "These are all the measurements." I got them all over me. I'm walking out, and I, I take them off then, and then I put them onto the onto the uh, in this in this case it was a miter saw because I was doing uh, crown molding and I had all my dimensions, and then I would take them off and I had them all labeled as to what the position of the crown molding was and everything, and I took them off and I stuck them onto the saw. And as I went through and made all my cuts, I just crumpled it up and threw it out. Like you know, took the tape off and said, "Okay, I'm done, 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 done." Yeah. So, so you know, one of the so something like that too is if you're dealing with a bunch of little screws or anything that like like if you're taking something apart, right? Lay a piece of painter's tape down, stick that thing, stick that screw on there, especially small ones, right? It's really important with small ones. Things that when you drop it on the carpet, it disappears like forever. Exactly, (laughs) exactly. And you can wrap that up in like a little pouch, and then. And then I would, then I take the extra tape and just tape it onto the project I'm working on. And it, and you know when I'm ready, I just open that thing back up. You know, all the screws are right there and everything. Yeah, yeah, and just and and in a way it is. You know, and it's in one place, and it's and you can write on it too. So if you you know if you're if you're coming oh, back absolutely. to that project, you can write on it. This is the screws for X Y Z. You know, done. You don't you don't lose them. Really important. Um, um, we were talking about about uh, drilling and tile and chips and stuff. You know, you can do the same thing with wood or formica or anything that's kind of hard that that's that right. like tends to chip. So you know, if you're using if you're cutting oak or you're cutting melamine in particular, you know, if you're if, even with the fine tooth blades, which is what you're supposed that's to right. use, you still run that tape down and it keeps that it keeps it from chipping the edges as much. It's not it's it, it's better than nothing, is what I'm going to say. Almost it almost works flawlessly though if you do it. I mean. It's it really, does. it really yes. works. It, you know, I was building some stuff out of oak. It just, it just was, it, it was great. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing here? You know, I it's, even used it at one time I was cutting uh, concrete. I was cutting some concrete block and I used it on my, on my saw. I, I put it in and it took all the dust off. It kept the dust from, you know, how dust boil it, it helped. I'm going to rephrase that. It helped. Um, it did protect the base of my saw blade though, or my saw. So I didn't yeah. scratch up the bottom of my saw. Very, very easy. Oh, that's another thing. If you're cutting something that's sensitive and you're putting, say, a table saw down, put, cover the bottom in the tape. It's not as abrasive as the metal plate on the tape. So that's another tip. What other, what else, what else we got, John? Um, 
you know, think, think about this, folks, is that, uh, you know, when you're painting, you can cover the rim of the paint cans with it, you know, so the paint doesn't go into the in, into the seam around the top where you put the where you put the lid back on. You mean so when you hit it with a hammer, it sprays all over the room? Yeah, right, right. All over the wall, you just paint it. So let's yeah. let's just one other quick tip: put a rag over the top of that when you yeah. do that. Yeah. But anyway, that has nothing to do with painter's tape. But that's another good tip. Um, um, what else do we do? Sealing sealing up your shoes and the bottom of your legs for painting. You know, you can, yeah, yeah, you can so use it as a sealer, right? Right. So if you're you know when I used to when I used to spray. You know, if you're doing uh, work with a with a spray gun or anything like that, and you want to seal up, you know, everything because that spray will get everywhere. Yep. It'll find its way, and you can use this stuff, and it'll, you know, just wrap up, wrap up your shoes and stuff in it. It's a, it's incredible. Yeah, you name it, you can do it. And this is one of my favorites. So we wrote some of these down. We winging it on some of these, but because some of them have come to me while we've been talking. But this is a good one, right? So we're very creative people, but we get dirty and we're we're going home. And uh, you know, I'm at the job site and I'm covered in drywall dust. I take it and you take and you turn it with the sticky side out. You wrap it around your hand and you do a couple layers of that and you go and brush your clothes off. Right? Great for yep. getting pet hairs, getting dust and dirt and all. Yep. All that kind of stuff off. It's quick and cheap, but I mean, it's you know, it's better than nothing, right? I mean, if you have nothing, it works out really good. Um, what's another one, John? Well, you know, uh, I, what I used to do with it is I used to put it down on 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 tables and things. If I had a mix, you know, epoxy or some glue, you know, two part glue, I'd just take a little, I'd take some of that stuff, you know, and put maybe about three or four inches of it and a couple of rows of that onto, uh, you know, a, t- a table. Oh, so you and made a mixing a board. Table so I could, yeah, so use I could a mixing mix, board. I could mix on it. Yep. And then and then it would dry real fast, you know, within a, within 15 minutes or what, you know, harden up in 15 minutes. But I'm I already used the glue, and I just peel the tape off and toss it. Done. Yep. Good yeah. one. And then, of course, obviously, arts and crafts and all that kind of stuff. You can, I mean, there's, there's. So here's the deal, right? There's hundreds and hundreds of uses for blue painters tape. So John and I were sitting around one day. We were probably having a couple of cocktails, as has been known to happen. Um, so we we came up with this idea. We said we said to, to ourselves, you know, we should run a contest on this deal. So we've come up with a contest. This is the first contest in the Handyman Pros radio show history. So we're going to give you a $25 Amazon gift certificate for the best submissions. We're going to draw it out of the bowl. We're going to take all the submissions and put it in. But we want you to leave us. We put this new voice message thing in on our website so you can actually leave us a voice message. So you go to our website. It's handymanprosradioshow.com, and you click on the voice message. It's going to take you to a place, and you can leave a voice message. But we decided we wanted to get more more uses for blue painters tape that have nothing to do with painting you know meaning we don't want to cut you know we don't want suggestions of cutting in an edge um, that kind of thing um, but what are some of your uses for blue painters tape that have nothing to do with painting so we thought we would run this um, we're going to take entries up until July 1st of 2020 so uh, this is being recorded in in May of 2020 it's probably going to air in late May um, and we will draw a winner for this $25 gift certificate on our show on July 2nd. And that is, you just have to leave a message with your uses. You can leave us more than one. It doesn't matter. for but Your uses for the Blue Painter's Tape. And we're going to do a follow-up show with all of your suggestions. And we might even play your, your suggestions out on the air. But that's that's what we're going to do. So we're going to draw, we're going to randomly draw somebody out of that list of things. But we want your entries. It's a $25 gift certificate. Leave us a voice message and we'll go from there. Um, we do have a Facebook group too. It's at Handyman Pros. And, uh, and and also, you can send us an email at questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. So all of those are good. John, anything else to add? No, nope, that's it. All right. Well, thanks for listening. We appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this podcast and have derived some value from it, here's four things you can do. One, tell your friends about this podcast. Two, hit subscribe on your podcast player. While you're there, leave us a review. Three, subscribe to our newsletter by going to handymanprosradioshow.com and click on the subscribe button. We'll inform you of upcoming events, shows, and give you actionable tips for maintaining your home and property. And four, send us an email with your questions to questions at handymanprosradioshow.com. That's handymanprosradioshow.com. That's our show for this week. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week on the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Thank you.